This is an introduction on the usefulness of watch points using the debugger in Atollic Tree Studio. To show a practical example of when watch points become useful, I have set up a small code example, which is far from perfect from a design and coding perspective, but the only goal here is to show how we can use watch points in a real life situation. We are developing and debugging an application which hangs in an error check while a loop. This happens under different circumstances, perhaps not always, as the application reads and receives data dynamically, but under some circumstances it seems we get stuck in an error check loop. There is a global variable called global state. This variable is changed by various interrupt handlers in this application when the data is being read from, let's say, sensors. In order to know that the data integrity is maintained in this routine, this function, we can check that this flag has not been changed between the time of entering this function until we are done processing the data and thereby exiting this function. So, the global state variable holds the current value of the status of the application, which seemingly may change. At the end of this function, the current status in global state is compared with the local snapshot of the status from when we enter this function. This is stored in the local variable temp state. As we saw when executing this function, we got stuck in the while loop, and my first assumption would probably be that the global state has been changed by, for instance, an interrupt handler. We therefore check the value of the global variable, global state, from the expressions view. We notice that it has the same value as it had upon entry of a function we can see that the local variable temp state has a different value than what it was originally initiated to, even though that it is never written to in this application code. This probably indicates some sort of stack problem. If this was a big and complex function, it could be really difficult finding the place where the temp state changed. Perhaps it does not even happen at each debugging instance due to some dynamic dependencies, making it even more difficult to figure out. The easiest way of finding this problem would be to use ETM tracing. But since ETM is not available in all ARM devices, we need some sort of more generic method to find this problem. We will simply add a watch point. This watch point will allow us to suspend the execution as soon as a read or a write access is performed on the specific memory address where the temp state variable is stacked. In order to do so, we use the expressions view to find the address where this symbol is stored in the memory. From the breakpoints view, we add a watchpoint entering this hexadecimal address of temp state variable. Let us now restart the debug session and hope that uh, the dynamic application behaviors will be in our favor so that the error actually occurs again and that we may catch it. I make sure that this watch point is enabled and then click run. The first suspend due to this watch point is when we initialize the temp state variable to take the current value of the global state variable. I will click run again and hopefully the execution will suspend somewhere else where we did not expect it to. The execution is suspended on this line, meaning that the previous statement read or wrote to the temp state variable. If we analyze this statement line, we can quickly spot that we are indeed writing outside the range of this unsigned integer array and thereby messing up the stack. Uh, this is a simple example, but the technique may be applied 